Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to preview the Betfair chairs which will be run at Haydock. It's a three mile, two furlong race and the prize money is £200,000. Before we get into the tips and selections, going back into the history of this race, it was established in 2005 and it was the first leg of the Betfair million pound bonus. Horses had to win this race, the King George and the Cheltenham Gold Cup to release the million pound bonus and the first horse to do this was Quarter Star in 2006. Historically, this horse has been used as a springboard for horses to go on to better things. Namely, winners of the past have been Q Card, Quarter Star and Silviano Conte, who have all gone on to better things since winning this horse. This time round, there's nine runners, and Bustle Demai looks to make it four wins in the race, which would join him with quarter stars, the winning most horse in this race. He'll face some tough opposition this time round, but he goes very well for us and he's of course a course and distance specialist, so you could see him making it four wins out of five runs. Heading the market this year round is Aplutar for Henry de Bombhead and Rachel Blackmore. This horse was second in the Gold Cup at Cheltenham and that was a very good performance and that is a standout piece of form in this race and a mark of 172 means he is by far the best horse in the race and is expected to win at 7-4. to four. Other horses that are interesting then is Next Destination who steps into open company from Novice. He goes for the top trainer of this race, Paul Nichols, who has won this race six times and he's looking to make it seven times lucky with this horse. Next Destination was third in the national hunt behind Galvin and that form has been boosted since. Other horses that catch the eye are Waiting Patiently, who has now joined Christian Williams from Ruth Carson and was second in the King George behind Forodon, which is a very good piece of form. Each way players in this race include Royal Pagal, who was sixth in the Gold Cup after a very progressive season. On official ratings, he probably has a lot to find with the rest, but if he shows that level of progression, he could be a very interesting horse. And of course, the old boy Native River also goes and is currently 16 to 1. This 11 year old does have some very good form if you look over the past years, and if he can get his own way out in front, he could be hard to stop over this 3 mile, 2 furlong trip. So, as far as selections go for this race, I probably wouldn't advise anything really. I think it's just a great way, race to watch, but I think Aplutard will take all the beating so I wouldn't put you off betting on him at around 7-4 to four at this stage and of course Rachel Blackmore you're not going to get many better jockeys so your money's safe with her. So that rounds up the preview I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on who you think will win the Betfair Chase.